Happy New Year from the Shadow Man. Very interesting things happened just before and after the New Year's celebrations. With help of Russia and Iran, Aleppo was liberated from extremists, which are called moderate opposition by the West. And stockpiles of Western weapons were discovered after the extremists left. Let's see now, some celebrities died. And then there's the main event. Korea government parasites in USA are still a meltdown over Trump and Russia. Bitter Obama instead of accepting that he failed at about everything just decided to blame Russia and Mr. Putin for Trump's win and post new sanctions without providing a single bit of evidence. The lack of intelligence agencies CIA and NSA released a pathetic report of the so-called hacking by the Russians that mainly bitched about Russian news channel RT and news website Sputnik. Their reporting was considered severe propaganda in favor of Trump because they released a lot of details on leaked democratic emails which showed how corrupt Clinton and her cronies were. But the logic, with that logic, Fox News should also be considered a Russian agent since they uh, gave those email contents a lot of airtime. Until now, Mr. Trump was very down to earth with responding to this hysteria, which is a good thing, I will hopefully. The main two psychopaths in all this hysteria are the fair or failed former presidential candidates uh, Joe McCain and Lindsey Graham, who really want some kind of a conflict with Russia because Russia bombed their interest in Syria to smithereens. McCain really almost called for a war with Russia during his European trip, where he also visited the neo-Nazis in Ukraine and told them they have his full support and in 2017 they will go on offensive. Yeah, good luck with that old fart. Vietnamese were really too gentle with him. And also Hollywood has issues with learning when to shut up. Meryl Streep really showed her bitterness at the Golden Globes. The bitterness was because she and her starlet colleagues still can't accept that the regular people didn't took their morally bankrupt advice. And this is the same woman who praised a pedophile, Roman Polanski. But what do you expect? Pedophiles are widely accepted in Hollywood. Just look at Woody Allen. There are several elections coming up in Europe this year. Uh, one in Holland in March. And there is also going to be a French presidential election this year. And the Europhile politicians who are hated by the regular people are already covering their potential losses by, and this is a lot of fun, blaming them already on possible Russian interference. Oh joy, this is uh, it's beyond hilarious and I really want to see their real responses when they actually will lose. So these were my thoughts on recent events and I will make a new recording after the presidential inauguration on January 20th. Thank you for listening.